Hey everybody, welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. Today we are working on a fun project at the homestead. I've enlisted a couple awesome helpers. Now what I'm about to show you, I'm a little bit embarrassed about. Embarrassed about, that was difficult to say. And if it wasn't for the fact that we were gonna be fixing it in this video, I probably wouldn't show you, but go ahead and open it up. Let's see what we got in here. It is a disaster. Yup, that is pretty embarrassing. But we're gonna do something about it today. We've got some lumber sitting there. Some of that is for the forming on the YouTube yacht. Some of it is for shelving. And we've got kind of a fun, unique idea with it that I think will make things a little bit easier for us around the homestead as well. So step one today that we've enlisted this super enthusiastic, where's that enthusiasm? It's in there somewhere. Look how happy she is. We gotta get everything in here out. I'll give you a quick tour. We've got, to, I'm gonna borrow some terminology from Watch West Work. We've got some, yes ma'am. That is trash, good find. What's in it? Um, breath mints. What's breath mints? Breath mints make your breath smell good, so if you're making YouTube videos, you don't offend people. I know, it's crazy, right? We have the, uh, the SOS hey, system Dad, that Wes uses. Morning this stuff on shelves. We have the SIP system that he uses, the stuff in piles. We also have, and I don't know if he uses this or not, but it's the stuff hidden in trusses. And we have a lot of stuff hidden in trusses. Yeah, see what I did there? It's a family channel, but we can still have fun, can't we? So, let's see if we can get all this stuff out. Yeah, keep going. Stay right here with me. She's a crazier driver than I am. Why? It just you'll figure it out. It runs in our blood. We're just we're just crazy drivers. Anything you can carry can go out there. I can carry this car. Uh, I know I can. I hope there's no spiders on over here. Hey, you know, muscle big enough for that? Yeah, you got big enough muscles for that. Good job. Yes, ma'am. Nice job. My hair. <laughs> Teamwork. Nice Let's job. Go. When did we get a tiller? I don't know. There you go. Let's straighten it out. Ow. Straighten it out. There you go. What are these wheels for, I wonder? What is that thing? This? It's our car tap carrier from the 90s. You never know. You just, you never know. You guys. So that is the end of step one. That little thing is going to go in a little bit. But next, I'm just going to do a little bit of measuring, chalk line, that kind of thing. Get some things planned out. And then we'll get to building, and I will show you what we're going to do to this to help make things a little easier for us on the homestead. And Cora, you're all super excited. I appreciate your help. All right, so we pretty much have our blank template, tablet, whatever you want to say for the back side of the barn. Shelves, shelves. I know what you're thinking, shelves. That's your big idea, Mike. Very creative, I know. Long storage on this side. Staircase, what to where? Stay with me, you'll, we'll, you'll see how it works out. Uh, let's do something here. Hello? <laughs> 
You found a tool? Yeah. What kind? Let me see what you got there, bud. Oh, it's a valve stem. Well, wonder what that's from. I'm sure it's fine. Thank you for finding that, picking it up. Appreciate that. That's right. I need you to show me where all my tools are. She's not wrong. No, I need a pencil. Thank you. Good try. Good try. Heck of a try. Oh, Thank you. Which hint you're gonna make me play? Okay, okay. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Mom, I'm going to my ear to say it! Well, I'm gonna need more screws. What? That one. Yes! Winning the day! That hand. Heck yeah, I'm good at this. <laughs> Finally, something I'm good at.
just so you can see, I know it seemed like it was really tight on this back edge, but it's really, you can see we're off the metal. All the way down, so I think it's just fighting on that post more than anything. Well, and the nails. Most of you know that the majority of screws are not made to take shear weight as far as this shearing off. These shelves, it won't matter too much. Kayaks are going here. They don't weigh a tremendous amount. But where it does matter, this shelf, which will carry a little bit of weight, I'm making sure I'm putting my supports actually under those 2x6s. So the 2x6s, the post, is taking the weight, not counting on the shear strength of the screw, if that makes sense. It's the same thing we did on that end as well. I didn't quite like the way they fit in there with the post on the inside, so we just did a quick switcheroo, and that'll work fine. That allows me to now put the Junior Kayak, which is Lily's kayak there, leaves us enough room to double stack. Whenever Cora's old enough, we can get Cora's kayak in here, so we'll have all the kayaks and everything. And with the floor and the edge, we can throw paddles and jackets and all that stuff. And that now leaves this one and this one open for longer material like pipes and lumber. And that kind of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and get whatever longer material I have on the back side of the barn up on the shelf because at this point I just need to see a little progress to keep my motivation going. But as far as filming the rest of today, one bad thing about GoPros, it does not do very good in low light. And even though it's plenty bright enough for me to keep on working today, which I'm going to do, I can tell on the screen it's getting a little bit too dim for you guys to see what's going on. So we'll just meet up with you guys in a little bit. So we're picking up on a new day. Ended up getting that shelf in yesterday evening. Got to get your support area right there. Plenty of room for that mower deck, which I don't use that mower deck anymore. I have that pull behind this one right here. This one right here goes behind that tractor. But I don't really want to get rid of it because in case something goes wrong with that one, I've always got that as a backup. Got the pallets sitting up here. We're going to do one more shelf up there. But let me get some stuff thrown together real quick, and I'll talk about why this is what I'm most excited about.
You talk about a bad day, that would be a bad day, wouldn't it? A little tricky indeed, but that's all right. What are you doing, Pop? Come here. You ready? You ready to show them? I'm pretty excited. Pretty happy with the way this turned out. Maybe I'll flash up like a fancy before clip so you guys can kind of remember.
this is what we ended up with. Really, really happy about it. Let me give you a quick tour. This is where I keep my welding supplies and stuff, and I managed to find this random rolly cart in the barn. So that's handy, because now I've got all my welding supplies, like extra leads, uh, jackets, gloves, helmet, grinder, discs, that kind of stuff. Fancy in there, please don't steal it from me. Anywho, on a fancy rolly cart, isn't that nice? Like I said, the mower deck, this of course is the plastic storage. I don't know what system you guys use. We like to keep ours for two years and then just throw it away two weeks before we need it. Isn't that right? Yes, we do. This is what I'm most excited about. So this one is all kind of car mechanic tools. I want to come up with a better organized system for the pallet itself. This is obviously the chainsaw stuff, which is great. And this will be just a random one that I'll keep open. Right now I have stuff in it that I was using on the YouTube Yacht Project. Here's the reason I'm so excited about that. I know some of you all are like me. You got a full-time job, you work a part-time job, and you got a bunch of projects on the side from that, and you need every spare hour or minute of every day to try to get everything done. So the whole concept here is that this will save me a lot of minutes in the long run. For instance, if I need to go work on one of the cars at the house, I can come in here with the forks. I still gotta get some forks, but you guys stay with me. I can come over here with the forks, pick the whole thing up, take it over to work on the car. If I'm going out in the woods to cut trees or firewood or whatever, I can just pick the whole thing up. All the tools are already in it, ready to go. And this, if you guys are like me, which I know some of you are, because you guys have made the comments, it takes longer to find your tools than it does to do the actual job sometimes. So this, this is all the stuff I was using to work on the footers for the YouTube yacht. It's all right here, organized, ready to go. The next thing I'll load this up with is all the tools I'll use on the ICF. So if I have a spare hour or spare two hours or whatever, one day to work on the ICF for the YouTube yacht project, I can come over here, everything's already in that tote ready to go. I can use the forks whenever I get them, take it back there and I've got everything I need. Or the reason this shelf is this exact height, that is about one inch higher than what the bed, than what the bed of the Ranger is, which means I can also back up to that with the Ranger and slide that whole thing right into the bed of the Ranger and have everything I need. And I'm pretty excited. I think that's gonna save me a lot of time in the long run. Of course we have all our extra long storage and stuff like that we have the kayaks and this is one big thing i didn't want to have to move anything to get the kayaks out look at that it slides right out that's why i moved that one post to the right i couldn't quite make this turn when that post was on the inside of those uh, shelves so i moved it to the outside and now i can angle right on out of there and we're ready to go with that you guys want to go upstairs upstairs so these are just some quick throw down stairs. I was trying to use the material I had. They ended up a little bit awkward. I may rework those in the future. Get some better material. Got a little walkway here. I'm not gonna put a railing here and I'll explain why in just a second. But I did put these toe kicks on the side. So, you know, my mind kind of knows where the edge is and it'll keep me from walking off. And of course we just have random miscellaneous storage up here for anything we might need. I could have made it deeper, but I don't really like deep shelves because I feel like everything gets lost in it when it's shallow like this. I can see the front and the back side of it plain as day. I don't have to dig as much. The reason I didn't put the rail right here is because for this long storage, you got to do this maneuver. And with the rail here, that would kind of prevent me from being able to get stuff up here. But not too bad. And this is me standing up. Yes, I'm definitely touching the ceiling, but it's not too bad to get a little bit of clearance. Everything works out really pretty well. Then you just work your way back down the stairs like so. And you're back down. This certainly beats playing the ladder lottery game. I'm sure you guys do that too. You just keep moving the ladder around until you find what you actually need the trusses. This way I can actually get up there and kind of look around. It saves time. So if you're wondering about the height of that, the tractor clears that by several inches. I measured to make sure the side-by-side -side clears it and the truck clears it as well. And you can walk underneath it, no problem. It's a little bit taller than the door height in a house, so no issue there. I'm not worried about that at all. I just think it makes things a lot easier. All in all, everything we took out is back in here. And I think that's the biggest thing. I know a lot of you guys might say, 
you need to get a bigger building. And I agree, I would love to have a bigger building someday, but we have this thing, I don't know if you guys have them where you're at, we call them budgets. We only have so much money we can spend on a project. And with the big project of the YouTube yacht going on right now, we knew we needed storage, so we kind of threw a low budget option at it. And all in all, it looks way better in here. A couple things in the future I'm gonna do. I had mentioned putting another shelf across the back. I'm gonna wait, but the goal is to put another shelf across the back, get a pallet that's a little bit longer that I can put all my sawmill stuff on, all the Alaskan mill stuff on, and then I can take the whole Alaskan mill setup in one swing. But I wanna wait until I get my forks so I get the height right. I don't wanna build the thing and end up being like two inches too tall and I can't reach it. And I don't wanna build it any lower than I have to so I don't run the risk of crushing this stuff by not paying attention and lifting it into the bottom of the shelf one day. So I wanna hold off until I actually get the forks for that. But this is kind of where some of the mill stuff is sitting and the rest of it's mixed in there. Once the mill stuff is up on that shelf, we'll take the welder and slide it right there. That'll leave this whole wall open, which will be nice. And also, really cool bonus, I can get the four wheeler side by side to the tractor which means I don't have to move one or the other to get the other one out before they're stacked in here too deep. If I wanted the four-wheeler, I had to get the tractor out or vice versa. This way, I can hop on whichever one I want and go do whatever I want to do, which is pretty cool. I think everything turned out really, really well. You just can't beat organization. It always just makes a guy feel better. And I think the simple solution with those little pallet storage things where I can just grab them and go for whatever project I'm working on and have all the tools I need right there without having to look for things, I think that's going to save us a lot of headache and a lot of time on the homestead. And it's just about making the most out of those one little random one or two hours you get during the day. Those can kind of make or break you on a project. So I'm pretty excited about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's difficult to film with the GoPro in the barn. They don't really like low light very well, so I hope this turned out okay. I'm very excited to get back on the YouTube Yacht Project. We got big updates on that coming up. Some updates on the Pond Project coming up, getting started again. And we're going to do the full build on the Log Arch Project. Product? Project? Whatever it is. And of course, lots of Dirt Perfect content to come as well. So, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you on the next one. the neighbor's house over there. I wonder how often they look out their windows and just see me walking back and forth with the camera talking to you guys. I wonder what they think. I wonder what they think. All right, this is gonna be the take. I can just feel it.